Welcome everyone, Christine here with a discussion about Warcraft 1 Remastered, as well as Warcraft 2 Remastered and Reforge 2.0. Now I covered some of the things that Reforge 2.0 does. I did miss a couple of things to be clear on this subject, which I'm going to cover in this video. Now first off, let's talk about what you're actually getting. So you're getting retextures, so or higher resolution on textures for Warcraft 1 and Warcraft 2, as well as more modern control, resolution, aspect ratio, but you're not getting any gameplay changes. And price-wise, well, Warcraft 1 Remastered is $10, 10 euros, Warcraft 2 is $15, 15 euros, and Warcraft Free Reforged is, what, $30, 30 euros, or you can buy the entire package for $40, 40, uh, 40 euros. If you already own Warcraft Free Reforged, you you can spend $20 to get access to both Warcraft 1 and Warcraft 2 Remastered. Whether or not you think that's worth it, that's up to you. For the record, these are certainly old games, but I gotta say, as someone who grew up playing Warcraft 1 in particular, like with my cousins or my brother, with my uncles, with my dad, just replaying Warcraft 1 feels pretty good. Now, I'm not going to say it's perfect, because there are certainly some things that I do feel are missing. Like, cinematics, they they upscale the models, and it does seem like they used AI to upscale the models, or the textures of the models, but they didn't upscale the cinematics. Or if they did, they did it in a cheap way. Like, I, there's some YouTube channels which do a much better job with regards to AI upscaling of videos. Now, I've disabled the sound effects, but the sound effects are the same. It does seem that they've also upscaled the music at the very least to, you know, sound better or clearer. But it's still uh, the same music as best as I can tell. Now, we gotta talk about a couple of things over here. So let me just start a mission. Let's say, uh, let's just go with a human mission. So Westfall. One of the things, by the way, that's lacking over here, I just turned off the sound effects because you know, the audio uh, didn't want the narration to interrupt me. It would be nice to have an option to have like a different volume slider for voices as opposed to sound effects, because you might want the voices higher as opposed to sound effects. But one of the things that's missing over here is these scenes would be animated. Very basic animation, but like the guy would be chewing the, you know, chicken. I'm guessing these guys are on left you have Lofar, on the right you have Khadgar probably. Or they're just gener a generic knight and uh, conjurer. But yeah, um, that is a downside. And on top of that, the fact that we have the screen in the middle that's Preventing one from taking, say, a screenshot of the back, uh, the art in the background is also a disappointment. Nice loading screen. I especially like the peons fighting each other. So, scaling can be a bit of a problem, uh, suffice to say. So, and also, like, at least on my display, I have a 4K display. This option doesn't do anything, this option doesn't do anything, this option doesn't do anything. It's only where I get here that I can start shrinking things. Like maybe I do want things, you know, a bit smaller, not necessarily so. Like maybe I want some distance, but I clearly don't want necessarily this kind of level, for instance. So that is an issue uh, from my uh, perspective. You can pressing the F5 key switch between uh, the older textures, though someone has pointed out that these games were built around the idea of tall pixels, and certainly the game, um, it, it, certainly they are not reflecting that necessarily. But here's the thing, you still get the modern controls even in this older version. So I'm reminded of a particular fan project that exists for Dune. Uh, Dune, Dune 2 specifically, where what they were doing over there is they were, uh, they made it so that Dune 2, which is certainly very outdated in terms of its control, could have more modern controls. And that is exactly what you can get over here with Warcraft 1 Remastered, because 
Controlling units in Warcraft 1, you, you couldn't just like right click to attack, you could shift click to select multiple units, but you would have to press the attack key or, you know, use keybinds. Uh, and I don't think we had keybinds in the older version. Like, well, all, I, all I can say is maybe there were keybinds, but everyone that played this game, like myself, my brother, family, we all did it in the same way. We would select each, like we didn't even know necessarily about the shift click uh, to select four units at the same time. We did the same thing, like the way we'd, we would play is we would select a unit, then order it to move to a location, that's, uh, and then to attack. Which is one of the reasons why archer lines and spearman lines supported by catapults were so very popular for so many people, because the control certainly got in the way. And it, absolutely made missions a lot longer. On the flip side, I do have to appreciate something about these older games. Like, people can say it's outdated, but here's the thing. You can certainly be thrown on the deep end with some of these uh, m missions. Or actually, maybe not even necessarily this one. Um, but, where is it? The center of human lands. So, you consider, <clears throat> you consider this mission, right? You, and you can select more units, by the way. You might say, oh, this is a massive army, and if I use, you know, if I use some cheats to uh, show where the AI is, we can just go in, in there and pulverize them, right? <laughs> uh, wrong. So very, very wrong. In fact, this is going to get my entire army killed very quickly, because, um, although maybe I can, actually, if I move quickly enough over here. Maybe, maybe. Because if you, but if you delay, you like, you can get your entire army killed very quickly because the mages over there can, the conjurers can start casting fireballs on your ass and that will absolutely uh, obliterate your entire army. Maybe this guy will. Yeah, that, and imagine that happening when your army is crossing the bridge. Well, I guess the rush tactic worked over here <laughs> because I didn't waste any time, you know, getting it done. So yeah, that absolutely did work out over here. <laughs> over here. But it certainly is a game, um, or these are games that can certainly throw them, throw you on the deep end in some cases. And some of these missions can absolutely be tricky. And I like it, like they're not necessarily long missions, but you know, in some ways, one of the things I hate about modern gaming is the, the idea that, oh, everything has to be accessible. We have to, um, we have to make uh, these games for, you know, for for people that can't bother in any way, shape, or form. You know, older games, and we played these as kids, and it's like, oh, you you had all the time in the world. No, we had homework. We had, we, we had to share computers with uh, with family members and all that. It's like we had all the time in the world. No, we didn't have all the time in the world a as kids. We had other things on our plates uh, to deal with. So we had maybe a couple hours. Like, I actually have more time to game nowadays than I did as a kid. Um, but, yeah, that was fast. That actually worked well enough. I expected my entire army to be obliterated, but I guess I managed to outpace the mana generation of that first conjurer over there. But you could absolutely be thrown on the deep end in some of these missions, and you could lose some of these missions very easily. Like. For instance, with the Black Morass mission, let me just give you an example. Let's say, you know, I take my guys over here, right? Uh, I, I take them because I know on this mission, where is the gold mine? To the west, I guess. Um, I take my guys over here to the north because I know there's only one particular choke point on uh, this entire map. There's the gold mine. And if I do that, though, right, then I'm going to provoke the wrath of, of, of Blackhand. And, and I'm going to lose my army and I'm going to lose the mission here because the next attack wave will, like, maybe I try and run away or look, this guy is, uh, <laughs> he might come to my base. Or you can try and run away. They will not stop chasing you. So I do like these kind of aspects with like these older games and look, I had fun. I played the entire Orc campaign. Maybe I'll play the entire human campaign, but I had fun. Certainly the no build missions, not great. Certain missions, sure. But like 
while Northshire Abbey and the Dead Mines are not particularly great missions, and like not having healing in the Orc campaign as opposed to having healing in the human campaign makes the human campaign that much easier. It's one of the reason I ima the reasons I imagine the human campaign was far more popular to complete than the Orc campaign. He having healing, not having healing, pretty big deal. But yeah, Warcraft 1, yes, we don't have multiplayer, we only have custom games. Some of the settings here do leave something to be desired, and I would certainly wish to have the ability of at least putting, uh, at least using gri uh, grid, uh, grid type keybinds as opposed to the keybinds we currently have. But even if you don't care necessarily for the new textures, you can at least play the older game and it's far more functional, runs far better, handles modern resolutions far better. Still some work I think that needs to be done and maybe it is a bit too expensive for what it's offering. Then we get into Warcraft 2 and it's a similar situation. Whoever made the UI obviously worked on both of these games. So we get uh, similar options for both of these games. So we don't have um, we, we don't have a situation where we can rebind keys or anything like that, which is unfortunate. And what I do find annoying is whenever I start the game, like the fog of war is turned on and I would rather play with it off personally, just personal preference. I always like to play with it off. Now, resolution scaling, UI scaling, you know, I'll talk about that. But one of the things I do actually have to complain about one, as a content creator, it seems like someone has cop put copyright on the music in this game. It does happen with these older games that where the company didn't already handle that because basically there was a major change at the end of 2013 with regards to content ID um, on YouTube that substantially changed the way things were handled. And basically games that came out, out after that, no problem. Games that came out before that, if they haven't been handled by the developer, you can have some of these issues. So I turn off the music here. But this game is loud. Very, very loud. Like, I literally have the lowest freaking level that I can uh, afford there. And I still feel like it's sometimes loud. Like, I was playing with knights over here in Dune Algaz, and I, ca I can tell you, it was freaking loud. Like, the way knights sound when they're hitting shit is like freaking... Like, keep in mind, this is literally the lowest level of volume that you can have. So, yeah, maybe there was a, a need for some, like, volume adjustments. Just saying that, Blizzard. But yeah, some, some of the things in this game in terms of volume are just way too much. Oh, by the way, you can also skip uh, having to get this. Like, you just need one catapult. Uh, all the others are kind of, like, redundant. Oh, and this mission, like, when I say about things uh, like the game throwing you on the deep end, I'm not joking on that subject. Come on, come on. Damn it. Oof, that was close. <laughs> At least on, like, Warcraft 1. There we go. Okay. I, I'm quite serious. Like, you have... Um, you do start with peasants in this mission, but <laughs> you also have to take out an enemy stronghold that's defended by uh, cannon towers and the like. So, this can be a bit brutal in some ways. Like, once you do secure a base of operations, that's a different discussion, but to be sure... Let's just leave these guys uh, back here. And just uh, land with them. But yeah, like some things are just like in terms of con in terms of like things like actual pathfinding and all that. That's the same. To be fair. Warcraft 2, I admit, readily admit it, I never cared much for Warcraft 2. Maybe I was just too used to the idea of like how Warcraft 1 controlled and like the comfortable playstyle of that particular game. 
like I liked Warcraft 3 a lot. I liked Warcraft 1 a lot, but as a kid, it's like, yeah, I admit, uh, Warcraft 2 was never my thing, really. Oh, shit. That's gonna hurt. Okay. Let's try and deal with the ogre the hard way. Okay, I just need a bit of vision. Indeed. <laughs> Over there. Well, that did it. Not a problem. But yeah, that is Warcraft 2. It certainly can throw you on the deep end. You know what? I think I'm just gonna save this because it's like... Uh, and just use that. But yeah. Like, it does run pretty well. It does control pretty well. And I think, like, out of the two games, uh, I do certainly think, like, Warcraft 2 has aged more gracefully. But damn, is it freaking loud! Like, that's the thing, it's not like you just hear one unit, you know? It's like you hear the entire cacophony of, like, freaking knights and footmen and all that shooting and stuff. That's, that's the issue <laughs> over here. <laughs> And again, like, this is literally, like, the lowest I can possibly get the volume. <laughs> okay. But you can understand what I'm talking about when I'm saying this game is freaking loud. <laughs> So that's, but that's Warcraft 2. It is fun for what it is worth. But, and let's move on to Warcraft 3 Reforged. So finally, we get to Warcraft 3 Reforged 2.0. I've already covered the things that they've done, but here's a very critical point about Warcraft 3 Reforged. When it came out, it ran really badly. And I'm not just talking about the game in actual scenarios, I'm talking about like the main menu was running really badly. Whereas right now, it's at 105 FPS. And the reason it's not going higher on my computer is because I've literally limited my computer to only go to 105 FPS. Just personal preference, really. I don't want to stress out my components too much. And I think 105 FPS is fine. Um, some people would want more, to be sure, but you can get more from it. So let's consider some things. They've changed some things in the options menu. They've also reset the options menu. One of the things that they did do is set foliage to off. I personally prefer to play with it on high. Just, you know, some people find that maps with no foliage are fine. Personally, I do prefer having foliage. Uh, in terms of sounds, the only thing they've added is the ability of choosing like Warcraft 2 or Warcraft 1 music. If you're a content creator, keep in mind the copyright that problems that exist with the Warcraft 2 music. Other things that they've added over here, 
and some people have said it's like, oh, they've um, uh, they've taken note from you know uh, from Grubby, um, but one of the some of the things that they've added over here is like they've added numbers for cooldowns, which is really nice. They've added things like F, uh, FPS, APM, um, APM, and gold mine unit counter. So you're because sometimes you might get in a situation where you don't necessarily know, like you you have to spend precious seconds, which is pretty important in a ladder game. You might you might end up in a situation where you're thinking like, okay, how much gold miners do I actually have on something, right? Now you always know, and that is good uh, to have. I'm curious if this is accurate. Like, there's certainly some campaign missions where the gold mine, like including the second human one, where the gold mine is actually a bit too distant. And you might need more than you know five workers. Um, curious to see how that will play out. But like for the most part, like yeah, this is great. This is uh, fantastic. Uh, inputs, you know, preset keybinds. You can also you know uh, go with custom keybinds if uh, you want to. So you can always change things. Like yeah, customizable keys. Freaking great over here. We no longer like. I remember when. Warcraft, or like I was playing Ladder in Warcraft 3, and w there were certain programs out there, or it's basically down to a file, right? But there were programs that would edit that file for you, so you didn't, ha didn't have to input that in text. But yeah, that is an improvement. And then we get, like, Reforged or Classic Graphics. Now, it is worth pointing out that in the vanilla game, this works fine. So you switch between Reforged and Classic HD Graphics, it seems like Blizzard was engaging in some bullshit in terms of like, oh, we improve it, the the classic models. I think they're higher resolution, but they're still the same models, as opposed to some of the marketing images that they have on their website. Maybe that's still a work in progress. Maybe there's some bugs with regards to that. Um, from what I've seen, the models, uh, the textures do seem higher resolution, but they're still the same textures. Uh, the problem would reforge graphics like environments pray okay the problems are as follows lighting is miserable like just the new lighting system uh, the lighting system is still actually it's not new at all it's the old lighting system and it just means that like if you had a better lighting system believe me the game would look much better like there are people who have taken the models the new reforge models from um uh, from reforge and put them in like unreal engine and it looks freaking great there it doesn't look so great here. Another problem uh, boils down to portraits. So one of the issues that exists, so let me just uh, start the campaign over here. So one of the issues that exists with regards to, let's say, you know, black rock and roll, so I can test the minor stuff. One of the issues that exists with the portraits, uh, the unit portraits in Reforged, there's more issues to it. Like one of the things is like the fact it's way too freaking bright and yeah it's only five workers but i can tell you you can go with six workers over here seven workers even and it's probably like i think given the distance at least six is efficient so yeah it's just accounting like it's a multiplayer benefit it's not just overall uh, an overall game benefit but here's the problem one the game can be too bright at times and this is not using any filters or anything like that like i play a lot of games like hdr playing games with the rtx dynamic vibrance or clarity filters i have nothing enabled here for purposes and yeah that's the foliage by the way i personally like it i don't see a problem with it whatever so uh, it's kind of like six and a half, I think, with the workers over there that you kind of want. Uh, like seven is maybe a bit Light too much. So, yeah, that's, so it's not really counting for the actual distance between the gold mine and the town center. It's just like five workers. Like it, it is at least showing how many workers you have, but you still have to figure out in certain situations. For multiplayer, it's fine again, but for I certain campaign for maps, light. you might want to ignore the number over there. Um, but here's of the problem. Course. Like, beyond the fact that the game is too bright, uh, there's other issues as well. So let me just use the I see that people cheat. So one of the issues is, like, some of these models, like, they're too big compared to the actual, you know, pathfinding of the model. Because, like, in the Warcraft Free Editor, you can have a model that's really big because you can set the unit scale, but the unit scale is not the collision. We're saying that. 
over here. So you end up with situations like where some models are too big. Some of the ogre models, some of the elven stuff in particular, like night elven stuff, there is certainly a problem in terms of like the actual size as opposed to collision. And this is the problem with Reforge inherently because you have, like I understand they're trying the to keep the my strength. scale that exists in the lore, plan. but Blizzard was always very careful with, their, with every game they made as opposed to outsourcing it, which they did with Reforge. They were always very careful about the size of units. Like weaker units are smaller than stronger units. That was the norm. And they were very careful about not having a messy situation on screen, which the people that made Reforge were not. And that is absolutely, um, you know, I'm here to help. Uh, that is absolutely a, a problem with it. But another issue that comes up with Reforge that's yeah, not fixed know. is like the unit portrait. So unit portraits in Warcraft and Starcraft what have always it? sold units so much. Like, yes, oh, they didn't have lip syncing. But here's the thing. Yes, These portraits, for the most part, they have some animations on the faces, but for the most part, they're not yes, they're not animations that trigger help. when characters are oh, talking. The only thing that happens danger? when characters are talking is, like, their lips move. Whoa, Whereas whoa, if whoa. you look at the older portraits, there was so much movement, and that sold idea that's a not, that it was a natural conversation. Because when people down. talk, they, just, they don't just move their lips. There's a lot of facial mu muscles that move. I'm and sure, it was not perfect, and it didn't match, you know, the dialogue, but it was much better than what we got. Also, it's annoying as hell to actually get voice acting. Like, for instance, let's say you're, you want to make a custom campaign, and you want characters to talk, and you want the portraits to actually animate. You gotta go for an entire process that's very tedious in order to do so. Like, I've played, I, I've made maps for Warcraft 3, so I know the situation over there. Uh, the one thing that they've allowed you to do is, like, disable portraits and cinematics, but they haven't changed the cinematics. For honor. However, it is kind of worth pointing out that one of the ways this could work better, we do get better performance, we do get certain graphical improvements, you know, we, we, we do get new menus over here, which, yeah, I'll take them. That's great. Uh, like, at least a couple of, you know, things that are appreciated over here. We do get, like, a main menu that feels very similar to the main menu that we used to have back uh, in the day. So that is greatly appreciated over here. Uh, if I go in multiplayer, you know, we get a chat lobby that seems similar to what we had before. But here's the problem. Before 2.0, we could sort games by name. So for, uh, but it would also account for the map name. So for instance, I play Legion Tower Defense. Before I could just type in leg and it would show me all the Legion Tower Defense games because it was going based on the map name. But now if I want to get into a Legion TD game, I have to type in PR or PH, which are the two main modes people play online. Uh, you know, it's just a question of naming, but it's just, it's like one of those things that's been removed, shouldn't have been removed. So that is absolutely a problem. Uh, I, one of the things I wish was added in Reforge was like a benchmark, a mandatory benchmark everyone would have to do in order to play the game because the performance is improved, but there's still people with potato computers. And look, I understand if you're hosting a custom game, you do want as many people as possible, especially like there's a big, there's certain big maps, but like sometimes you just want to stop dealing with people that have potato computers and you have no way of filtering that. And I wish there was a way to filter that. This is not a crash, it's just like the game. It's an issue, I don't know why it's an issue right there in terms of loading maps, but... Or creating a custom game. I think it's because of the folder. So let me just go with an add computer over here and let me just load a map. That, keep in mind, when Reforge came out, this one map would lag like you were using classic graphics or Reforge graphics. The performance would be freaking terrible. Loading times, performance. The only thing that that the game's still struggling is loading stuff up. But here, like, I got a bit of a performance dip when I started the map. So I went to like 99 FPS, which is still pretty damn good. And now, you know, we have this map with a lot of stuff on it. And it's like 105 FPS. And sure, the game isn't started, but it's probably not really going to dip that much below that. It's when certain abilities are used. Now, again, when Reforge came out... This would not work. So this map is forcing classic models in it. And speaking about classic models, 
there's quite a few maps where if you say you know disable units but you're uh, if you're going with classic HD models, but you're disabling, um, Your Honor. you know, uh, individual stuff, well, what are you some things you in custom it? maps won't work. Like, the only way to actually get classic graphics is to tie it to go with the classic mode itself. That's uh, kind of worth pointing out with regards, uh, with regards to all of that. So yeah, like right now, 105 FPS, lots of things going on, lots of units, all that spawns, etc. So <clears throat> just kind of you know worth pointing out. If Reforged had run this good when it came out, it would have been a much, much, much better situation. Uh, I gotta say, than than what we ultimately had. Another thing that would have been nice for them to add would have been the ability of controlling more than 12 units, which, by the way, they didn't mention that they might add when Warcraft Free Reforged was, you know, announced. But they didn't add it. Like, I'm not talking here for ladder, I'm talking here for custom games. Because, like, you have these kind of maps where, yeah, you're certainly controlling more than 10, 12 units. Oh, I guess I lost uh, Arius. Um, you're certainly controlling more than 12, um, uh, 12 units, but is, um, what is my task? ah, we got the ash burner, uh, but it can be tedious, uh, to, to certainly manage that effectively, um, right, so, so that is something I wish they had that in Reforged, that's one of the things I wish they would still add in Reforged. Look, it's better than where it is, and I wouldn't diminish the fact of having much better performance than what we got. Because that is actually important. Flip side, a lot of custom campaigns and maps have been completely broken. I'm actually surprised we're in the Plaguelands loaded properly over there. Well, at least seemingly properly, because that's not real a, a real game. So, you know, that might be an issue. But, like, you know, I've tried playing the campaign, the Tides of Darkness campaign. I can get it to work, but a lot of things are also broken in that, in particular with models. So, you know, you might need some updates. Let's try, you know, Lord of the Rings uh, Elves. This is a very old campaign, by the way. Like, some of these things are very old. Like, the Black Comp I have a Black Company campaign based on the first novel in the series. And that is absolutely, you know... Um, this battle bores me. <laughs> things are some things clearly are <laughs> here mortal <laughs> well say hello to orc calabrimbor yeah i mean again it, this is a very old campaign just worth saying that so it's like i'm not surprised this is broken <laughs> but it's just kind of hilarious uh with regards to, to all of that so yeah it's like just 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 hilarity but like they should load but yeah with these kind of like older campaigns you probably would want to just you know quit let me just go let me go through all of this um actually yeah just click the options i forget keep forgetting about that and you know en enable reforge graphics uh enable classic graphics uh speaking about other things they've added they have added a collection of various uh, units you can have like various heroes you can have but this Two has, let's just say, some of its own issues. Maybe I do want to disable, yeah, enable classic graphics. Some maps may not support classic mode. I wonder how that's going to work for, like, skirmish. Let me try some skirmish. So, up one level. Let's go, you know, start a map, whatever. Last temple 1v1, and I'm gonna go Night Elves. So I don't know if this is gonna work over here. I had the classic of uh, Last Temple. Anyway, so I'm just gonna put Warp 10. So, you know, classic models, all that, non reforged stuff. And we're gonna get to Demon Hunter, who looks like Illidan because it is Illidan. So, one of the things you can do with either classic models or reforged models, even if in the collection menu it only says, it only shows the reforged ones. You can get a lot of like these older models for heroes. Problem is, it's like Evil Illidan is the name. Yeah, so the whole thing about like Evil Illidan and all that, that's what they're called in the editor. But that's not what they should be called. So the implementation there, like, there's still work that needs to be done. That's my, that's my overall conclusion. There's still work that needs to be done. I appreciate the performance increase. I wish for more. 
we could use another lighting system and we could actually use the classic HD graphics that we were promised. I do think that they're better from what I've seen, like they're higher resolution, but we could use more work. Like those marketing images are a complete lie, I gotta say. So uh, that is uh, something, but I do greatly appreciate it. Whether or not this would revitalize the multiplayer community, you know, that's the big question mark. It might seem like there's a lot of games, but keep in mind a lot of these won't fill up, and there's a lot of Legion Tower Defense games. So, like, you know, there's PH games, uh, PR games, like, there's at least six games over here that are that. And yeah, some of the filtering uh, isn't pretty great. But maybe it is, a st it is a step in the right direction. So, my conclusion on the battle chest Warcraft 1, Warcraft 2, Reforged. I mean, I certainly think that they're asking a big price for all of this, to be blunt. And one can make the genuine argument that what they're trying to do really, like if you go to the website and you search for Warcraft Free Reforged, it will take you to the battle chest. They want people to pay that $40, 40 euros price for it. Is certainly Nicole and Diamond. I mean, I, I never got with StarCraft 1 and remastered because I was like, I am not paying that fucking price. That, that's how I feel about this. Like, you know, at, and that, that's as a content creator. I just couldn't be bothered. I'd rather play StarCraft 1 and StarCraft 2 because there, there's custom campaigns that do just that, that are better <laughs> than that. But would Reforged, they obviously haven't improved the campaigns. Maybe they should. But you do have the dedication of the re Reforged team, which is gonna have to update a bunch of stuff, but yeah, that does. That's overall a far superior experience, minus the shitty boss battles, because you know, no build levels and shitty boss battles have no business in fucking RTS games, as far as I'm concerned. I despise them in every single case, but hey, that's that's what people want. Whatever, you know, all these use you know cheats to just overcome that. That's why I do. Fuck those. I really couldn't give a shit. They're all they're all pretty crap here, and I wish custom campaigns did less of that, but you know, that's my issue. Uh, but overall, like, the effort of the re team, combined with improvements in performance, pretty significant, might take a while to get re reforged working again. And there's still performance dips that do need to be fixed, I do feel. So again, more work needs to be done. Uh, but that's where we are. Questine, signing out. Much better effort than what we originally got over Reforged. Look, if we had gotten this version of Reforged when Reforged came out, I think a lot of people would have been a lot happier than the shit we... We still would have been pissed because, you know, promises made, promises broken, but it would have been a much better situation than the pure misery. So, we might be getting there. We'll see.